Hi, I'm John Purcell. This is my life in books. I wasn't a reader as a kid. I just didn't like it. I, they made me read some books at school and really didn't buy it. Um, I thought I could probably get more fun out of a movie or TV. I was raised by TV pretty much. It wasn't until the last dying moments of my HSC when I was heading right for zero when a friend of mine handed me a copy of Catch-22. He was doing it in the HSC. I was in the lowest English, he was in one of the highest English classes and um, he thought I'd like it because I was in love with MASH and he knew that um, you know, Catch-22 had that kind of humour and he, so he gave it to me and I, I instantly, instantly was just pulled into this book. The opening is so funny and it's so brilliant and the book is so dark and I pretty much spent the next, I don't know, fortnight lying on the, uh, on the actual concrete in, at lunch uh, time and any time that I had a free period reading this book and one time um, my English teacher who um, was just phoning it in the, because of the bottom English class walked past me and saw me holding this book aloft and reading it and was so stunned, stunned, she didn't know I could read, you know, um, she'd been teaching me for a year or so and she said what is going on here and I said well you know uh, it's good <laughs> and she's like is there, is there any reason you're reading that? A friend gave it to me, I like MASH, he liked this. Do you know that um, there are other books that have made into films and TV? I had no idea because I was completely out of it. Um, and so she encouraged me after a little discussion, because I said I liked Room of the View, um, to try the book Room of the View. And from then on, that was it, I was done. Uh, I was completely converted and she fed me book after book um, until the end of the HSC when I got my zero. The book I'd wished I'd written, uh, which is a ridiculous, vain suggestion, is Middlemarch, because holy crap, that book is good. It is so smart, so intelligent. It covers a whole town. The characters have, they, they live and breathe. They're three-dimensional, they have depth. They are, um, the, the, the story is so entwined and, um, the observations are so unique to each character. It's, it's, it seems impossible that one human brain can come up with all these different people. It is a massive cast too. It just blows my mind. And I, it was such a great read. Like even though I'm talking about it in these terms, it's like a, a bestseller. Like any book you would take off the, off the counter in, in a shop today, it drags you through um, and you need to know what, what happens. So if I could write that, that would be good. Uh, the book that actually made me want to be a writer, um, it was kind of like the thin edge of a wedge. I'd been reading um, you know, Cash 22 and I'd read um, Ian Forster's books and, and I'd read Hemingway, um, but that all seemed over there. It was like something that I could never, ever, ever do. It was just so far away. Um, but then one day I picked up this tiny, tiny book that was on, on my friend's shelf. I wasn't feeling very enthused about reading at the time. Um, and, and I was in a bit of a slump and th this tiny slither of a book was on, on the shelf and it said The Outsider by Albert Camus. And I picked it up and the opening line is, Mother died today or was it yesterday? I can't be sure. There are other translations, don't get into it. Um, but it just struck me, bang, the simplicity of that, that, that opening line, it just smacked me right over the head. And then as I read it, it is so simply written. It seemed like it was almost possible that I could do something like that, but it contained magnitudes. It was the biggest ideas that I ever come across. It just slapped me around the face. And I thought, I can't do the ideas, but I can do the writing. If I could do some of that, if I could write like that, I could probably start to, to get into this thing. And so that was one of the reasons why I started writing. I'm not a crier, but um, one book got me. Um, of human bondage and the reason I read of human bondage because I had an idea of Somerset Maugham I had an idea of a short story writer and I'd read a couple and I, did, I wasn't really that into it and a friend had given me The Razor's Edge and that felt like a pot boiler and the characters didn't seem full and real and so I didn't finish it I just put it aside and I had this wonderful wonderful warm um, ca uh, customer that used to come in my shop who was uh, a reader of genre and um, but really lovely spoke to me all the time um, and we had a long relationship over, over, over um, years. 
Um, and she ever heard me talking to a customer about these great books and, and, and after that customer had left, um, she came up to the counter and said, look, there's only one book that to me is like the books you guys were just talking about. And I said, well, what's that? She said, of human bondage. And I, I, I had sort of written off in my head, um, Somerset Maugham, that he couldn't be that kind of writer. Um, and she said, you know, I'd love to know what you think of it. So she actually had the copy from my shelf and uh, in my own shop and popped it on the counter. So I, I, as soon as she left, I started reading it. And I realised that this was a different kind of book altogether. This was not like his other books. Um, this was um, a book with depth and character, because I think largely it's kind of based on his life in some way. I, I, I haven't really researched it, but um, I think there's more of him in, in this story. And it is brilliant. Like it is one of the, my, my favorite all time books. And it is desperately sad. It, it just broke my friggin' heart. And, um, and you know, it, it, it really got me. And it, it's pretty much the only book that's ever made me cry.